Ciao amici e amici, oggi vi propongo una cosa un po' particolare. Vi mostro un videogioco uscito nel 1995 che si chiama Shannara. Shannara è il videogioco. Mi ricordo ancora dove l'ho comprato a Monza in un negozio e ci ho giocato tantissimo ancora sul mio vecchissimo e primissimo computer che era un 486 credo, un IBM 486 su eh, Windows. <ride> E vabbè, partiva col DOS, eccetera, eccetera, insomma, tanti bei ricordi. Si tratta di un gioco fantasy dove bisogna cliccare per fare delle scelte. La cosa che mi aveva colpito moltissimo all'epoca, oltre alla storia davvero avvincente e al fatto che fosse collegato ai libri di Shannara, ai famosissimi libri di Shannara che io comunque avevo letto, eh, non tutti i primi, dicevo, la cosa che mi piaceva tantissimo erano le illustrazioni, i personaggi, i colori, erano fatti molto molto bene e anche le grafiche in 3D diciamo le animazioni erano piuttosto belle per l'epoca quindi per molti di voi forse risulterà un po' noioso ma io ve lo voglio proporre in più parti perché il gioco è molto molto lungo quindi probabilmente verranno fuori 5 o 6 video non lo so ve ne propongo uno alla settimana io vi invito a guardarli con attenzione e a seguire la storia perché è davvero bella e avvincente anche se non ci avete mai giocato se poi volete giocarci e trovate il modo di farlo beh vi assicuro che vi aspetta un gioco davvero molto valido quindi detto questo vi lascio al video non ci sono commenti miei è solo il gioco spero di aver fatto cosa gradita. Come sempre condivido un mio ricordo. A presto. Ciao! troubled dreams you fly over the four lands pulled by a relentless force. Ahead of you looms a dark, ancient ruin. You feel yourself being dragged into darkness. Within the cold, grim halls of this unknown place, you see a twisted gnome chanting quietly over an ancient and marvelous book. out to take the beautiful sword. You feel a great sadness and a sense of loss as the magical sword vanishes. The little gnome now looks like an ordinary man, yet somehow this shape terrifies you even more than those which came before. To your horror, the robed figure sees you. You cannot move. You cannot escape. Thank <laughs> you. 
you awaken with a start in the forest near Shady Vale. You try to recall the grim nightmare, but all memory of it has vanished from your mind as if something or someone has taken it from you. <laughs> You are Jack Olmsford. Your father is Shea Olmsford. Your elven heritage is quite apparent. Why are you here? I know your father. My name is Alanon. I have made certain that it can no longer harm others. Your home, Shady Vale, will soon be attacked by an army of monsters. I will go there and warn your father. You must go to Lee and warn many in Lee that his kingdom will soon be under attack. It is vital that someone warn Minion of the danger, and you will be safer in Lee than in Shady Vale. You cannot be of any help there. Your father and I will defend Shady Vale. Shady Vale will be the first point of attack, but they will advance on Lee soon. Unless defenses are prepared, the city of Lee will be overrun. Yes, the monsters are everywhere, but if you are careful, you can avoid most of them. However, there are dangers all around, and no place is safe. You will need to travel east, cross the Rappahaladron River, and go up into the foothills. Listen to me, Jack. This is very important. 
The Shade of Brona has been summoned from the dead. His dark spirit seeks vengeance on all who opposed him. Your father is one of his targets, because Shea destroyed him long ago. Menian Lee is another. Unless he is warned, Brona will have his revenge. If you do not warn Lee, many will die. You must get there safely and quickly. Avoid monsters and take no chances. Good luck, Jack. We will meet again. Jack? Jack, is that you? Don't you recognize me? I know it's been a few years, but I haven't changed that much, have I? It's me, Shella. You know, Minion Lee's daughter. We used to spend time together when your father visited my father. Help me, will ya? I can't move this stupid tree. Got him. Now we're even. You saved me, I saved you. What's going on here? I've never seen so many monsters in my life. Brona? But I thought your father destroyed him a long time ago. I was looking for my locket. I lost it on my last hunting trip. It's shaped like a shield with my family crest on it. It's on a golden chain. I took it off while I was bathing in the Rappahaladron River, and a bird carried it off this way. Yes, my father trained me. I'm a good scout and tracker. I'm also very good with my bow, as you can tell. I don't know. It's just that my father always told me never to lose it. I promised him I'd be careful with it, so I really need to find it. That's my locket! How did you find it? I knew that bird stole it. I just didn't have my bow ready at the time. Well, the least I can do to thank you is to take you to Lee. You'll need all the help you can get to avoid the monsters. But with me scouting for us, we'll have no problem getting there safely. Let's go. The Rappahaladron's too swift and wide to cross here. We can either go south where the river slows down, or north where it becomes more shallow. South has more monsters to avoid, and north takes us out of the way. The choice is yours. The Rappahaladron River is shallow here, but we've come pretty far out of our way. Jack, wait! There are monsters over there. Thank you. 
I know exactly where we are now. Come on, I'll lead you to my home. Princess Shella, you must go to the manor house as quickly as possible. What's wrong, Thomas? Your father has taken ill. Jack, we need to get home quickly. Father's never ill. Or at least he never admits it. That's all I know. I was told to inform the princess when she returned. Monsters? We've seen no monsters around here. There's an army of monsters between here and Shady Vale. Be on guard and warn the others. I'll notify my captain. Thank you. Jack, come on. We need to alert my father. See you later, Thomas. Good day to you both. There's my house up ahead. Let's go. Jack, we don't have time. Oh, hello. Who are you? I'm the gardener. What happened to Ernst? Look sick. There's a lot of that going around, I guess. How would I know? He's just a gardener, Jack. Not a doctor. Greetings, Princess Shella. His Highness, your father, is ill and has asked to see you. Hello, Winston. How is he? Not well, my lady. The sickness came on suddenly and has hit him hard. He's in his chamber. We'll go see him right away. Come on, Jack. My father's room is upstairs. Father? Father, I've returned. Father, please, can you hear me? It's Shella. I've come home. Oh, Jack, he's not responding. I've never seen him like this before. What do you want that for? It's just a teacup. It looks like my father drank his tea from it. The tea leaves are still on the bottom. How is King Menion, your highness? I'm afraid he's quite ill. We're going to see the herbalist. I hope he'll be well soon. Thanks, Thomas. Princess Shella, welcome! Welcome, both of you! Now, how may I help you? Hello, Jonas. My father is ill and we need your help. I'll be happy to do whatever I can for you and your father. Hmm, this is quite odd. The leaves in the cup smell like sassafras. Let me test this feather. Ugh! I suspected as much. This was made from the leaves of the Dread Dyer. What's that? It's a plant in the Sassafras family, but extremely rare and extremely poisonous. It produces symptoms exactly like King Minion's. Is there an antidote? I can make one up. Let me look in my book here. Um, ah, here it is. Yes. This I, I, oh no, oh no, I'm out of some of the ingredients. Ah, uh, well, I need some dogwood flowers, some cloves, and the, uh, oh yes, I'm out of charcoal. But dogwood trees don't bloom this time of year. Well, that is a bit of a wee problem, isn't it? Still, 
I can't make the antidote without dogwood blossoms. You'll just have to find a way to get some. What are you doing with that? Oh, there's not much left of that. Use it sparingly. Jonas? Jonas! Jackie's dead. What happened to him? What's that? It's the antidote. We can make it ourselves. That's it. Let's take it to my father. Nothing's happening. You don't think we're too late, do you? Master Jack. King Minion wishes to speak with you now. He's in his chamber with Princess Shella and the druid Alanon. Jack, come in. I must thank you for saving my life. Shella told me everything. After all the times I got your father out of trouble, you turn around and save me. Tell Shay about that when you get home. Jack isn't going home from here. He needs to go to Tirsis to get the Sword of Shannara. The Sword of Shannara? Alanon, you don't mean to send this boy after Brona. Jack is about the same age you and Shay were when the two of you journeyed to face the Warlock Lord. But we were young fools with no thought of danger. You need experienced adventurers like Shay and myself for such a dangerous mission. Shay needs to defend Shady Vale, and you need to protect your kingdom. You are no longer a heedless young prince. You are a king, and you have your duties. Jack must go to Tirsus and warn King Balinor. I must go to the Valley of Shale and speak with the Shade of Bremen. I will meet Jack in Tirsus. You don't mean to send Jack off by himself. I'll go with him. No! Father, Jack and I have already proven that we make a good team. We got here safely through all those monsters, and we made an antidote for your poison. Besides, when you trained me, you said I was almost as good with a bow as you were. No, I will not allow you to go. This isn't some jaunt in the forest. It's a perilous and deadly mission. If Shella is indeed as good as you were, Jack will need her help. No, Alanon. She is my daughter, and I will not lose her. I will send my best soldiers. Father, please. Shella, you will not go. Then you will all excuse me. Jack, I'll see you later. Thank you for your aid in restoring our king. Lee's monarch still reigns because of you. 
Princess Shella left the mansion a few minutes ago. She seemed rather upset. Jack, there's no way I'm going to let you go off into danger without me. You're going to need my help. Let's see if we can get out of here before they close the city gates. Even Alanon thinks it's a good idea. I know my father's just trying to protect me, but if Brona isn't stopped, no one will be safe. Let's see if we can get out of here before they close the city gates. We've got to get out of town before my father finds out I'm missing. We can't go back to the house. Thomas, we need to get outside the gates. I'm sorry, Princess Shella. My orders are that no one leaves Lee right now. Jack has to leave. It's critical. I can't let anyone out without command of King Minion. Now what? Even you can't leave now. We've got to figure out some way to get out of here. My father is a very stubborn man. If Alanon can't convince him, then nothing you and I could say would help. Well, there's a secret passage out of the mansion somewhere. I read about it when I was a child. Here, take my locket. Go to the main hall, show Winston the locket, and tell him to meet me in the library. See if you can find the entrance to the secret passage. I'll get some equipment and meet you as soon as I can. See you later. May I inquire why you have this, sir? Very good, sir. Jack, you did it. I've got the supplies. So that's why my locket was so important. It opens the secret passage. Let's get out of here before my father finds out. I know where we are from here. Let's go. I recognize this area. The road to Tirsus is west of here. We can follow it all the way there. The ferry crosses the river near here. It's the only way to ford the Rappahaladron at this point. What are you doing here? Waiting for the ferry. Illness in the family. Fools, in the name of my master, Brona, I will destroy you both. 
Attack! Destroy them both! Take that, bastard! When we meet again, you will die. He just disappeared. You've got it. Now let's fix this fairy. That's an easy shot for me. There! Jack! Monsters, they're coming out from the woods! Hurry! At least that should slow down Brona's monsters. We can send someone from Tirsus to fix it later. <laughs>